Hey guys, it's Kent Davis. Um, I'm the managing director of Panama Equity Real Estate. I've been in Panama since 2007 and I love the water. So today I'm gonna to tell you about fishing in Panama. Good places to go, what kind of fish you can get into and uh, different times a year to go fishing. So first of all, Panama's got basically three different kinds of fishing. You've got freshwater, saltwater, and then on the saltwater side, you've got deep water and shore casting. So really, at the end of the day, the difference between saltwater and freshwater is going to be price and how long you're going to be out on the water. Because generally, if you're doing a saltwater trip, you're going to be out early morning and you're going to come back late evening. The nice thing about freshwater, especially if you're in Panama City, is that we've got access to some great man-made and natural lakes, uh, most notably Lake Atun, which is where the Panama Canal was sort of built into or essentially created. Um, and you've got some awesome freshwater fishing there. Actually, the word Panama means land of many fish. Go figure. That's in a uh, old Indian language. But um, anyway, so yeah, fish. I mean, in, in, in the beach, pardon me, in on the lake, you've got... Sargento, which are, golly, what are those called in English? Like a bass? I mean, that's pretty much what they are. Uh, they're good eating. You can get into them pretty much consistently. Uh, you know, you rent a boat, say, a, they call them pangas, which is the basic run of the mill. You've got a little roof, say, you know, 19 feet, foot with a little outboard on the back. And you just put around the lake. It's a big lake, massive lake. So you can be on it all month and see different parts of it. But uh, yeah, so peacock bass, that's what they are. Peacock bass, Sargento. You can also get into some sturgeon if you're lucky. Uh, those are good eating. But mostly it's just the uh, Sargento, the peacock bass, freshwater in Panama. If you want to get up to the mountain areas in Boquete, you can get into some trout. But uh, in general, Panama is known for the saltwater fishing. So you've got a couple different choices. You can do off of Panama City, in which case you're most likely going to head out to the Pearl Islands or yeah, that you're going to be going out to the Pearl Islands. And that's let's call it two hours out is when the fishing sort of starts out around Contadora area. And you can get into some billfish out there. You can get into tuna, snapper, uh, mahi-mahi. Like, yeah, there's a huge variety of fish. So renting a boat, you can plan on spending for a half a day, well, really a full day with a captain, five people with gear and beer, and you bring your own food, about a thousand bucks. And then, you know, you throw the captain, what, a couple hundred bucks kind of thing, depending on how good of a day you have. It's rare to come back empty handed unless the conditions are such. But uh, freshwater fishing, haven't had a knock on wood, haven't had a day where we didn't catch at least one trash bag, well, one uh, grocery bag full of fish. And they'll fillet them for you right there. Same thing with the salt water. You're gonna most likely leave from the Amador Causeway. That's where most of the boat rentals are. And that is right inside Panama City. So a bit further out, you get to a town called Petisi, which is world famous. I mean, they pull up some incredible fish in Petisi. Same thing. That's where you're gonna get to do some shore casting as well. Same thing. You can get into Corvina, Snapper. Uh, tuna, not so much, but uh, yeah, I mean, they have tuna there, albacore and regular, uh, what is that, yellowfin? So yeah, I mean, Petisi is awesome for fishing. And then if you want to go hardcore, you go to the Darien, Hannibal Bank. Tropic Star Lodge is, again, world, world famous. They set records there, billfish records, catch and release for the billfish. And then, man, you can get into some 100 pound groupers, same thing in Petisi. I mean, you can find, it's the same channel, right? It's the same deep water channel where all the fish are migrating north to south. Hannibal Bank is interesting because you get that uh, freshwater dumping in. So it's 
sort of a, a more interesting ecosystem, but both places are really good. And then you can go out to Puerto Armuelles, which is close, say it with me, Puerto Armuelles. You got to roll your R's. Uh, no, Puerto Armuelles, um, that is in Chiriquí. So from Panama City, that's a hike. You're going to want to fly to David, which is a 45 minute drop, hot 45 minute flight or about a six hour drive to David and then another hour and a half down to Puerto Armuelles. And you, same thing, very good fishing, deep water and shore casting. On the Caribbean side, you've got good fishing. The problem with the Caribbean side is finding a boat, unless you're in Bocas, which boats are a dime a dozen. But if you're in the Cologne province, which is the province closest to Panama City, it's a little tricky. You got to reserve ahead of time. And the fishing is eh, not that great because you don't get that continental shelf that just drops off. It doesn't get super deep, super quick. Pacific, yes, it gets deep. It gets very deep very quickly. And that's why you get some big, tasty fish. So guys, hopefully that gives you just a 10,000 foot view. Put your comments. I'm happy to answer them. If I can't answer them, we've got a fishing expert out of our Petasi office. He moved to Petasi specifically for the fishing. So let me know. And, and if you like what you see, subscribe. We're doing all kinds of these videos. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.